Okay, hello, can you hear me? Hello? Can you hear me? Can anybody hear me? Hello? Can you hear me now? Yes. All right. Okay. I'm sorry. Uh, my internet, my internet disconnected and I'm using my other internet now. Okay, so uh, let's go to the recording. I'm going to the recording. Uh, now the conversation starts. Okay, maybe you get the map back in. Bond was also in the Navy, of course. Did Fleming have a license to kill? Oh. Will, you're the author of a new book about Ian Fleming. Ian Fleming's the Bond. Oh, no, he worked. And we've got a new double bed, but we haven't got a table. I've got an old table. Would you like it? Yes, please. OK. I haven't got a car. Can you come to my house for it? What's your address? Twi Maybe my boyfriend can take me there next weekend. OK. He didn't study very much. The next, the next recording. He didn't get his licence to kill until 1950. He wasn't a very good student. He wasn't married for long. Recording 7.2. OK. Good afternoon and welcome to On The Page. Today's first guest is writer Will Forbes. Hello. Now, Will. You're the author of a new book about Ian Fleming, the man who wrote the James Bond books. Yes, that's right. We all know about James Bond, of course, but what can you tell us about Ian Fleming? Well, what's interesting is that Ian Fleming's life was quite similar to James Bond's. Really? Recording 7.3. 1. Did Ian Fleming work for the British Secret Service too? Two. Did Fleming have a license to kill? Three. Did he work for the Secret Service after the war? Four. Did Fleming and Bond go to the same school? Five. When did Ian Fleming write the first Bond book? Six. Did he make a lot of money? Recording 7.4. OK, here it is. Good afternoon and welcome to On The Page. Today's first guest is writer Will Forbes. Hello. Now, Will, you're the author of a new book about Ian Fleming, the man who wrote the James Bond books. Yes, that's right. We all know about James Bond, of course, but what can you tell us about Ian Fleming? Well, what's interesting is that Ian Fleming's life was quite similar to James Bond's. Really? Did Ian Fleming work for the British Secret Service too? Yes, he did. He joined the Navy as an intelligence officer in 1939. Bond was also in the Navy, of course. Did Fleming have a license to kill? 006, maybe? <laughs> no, he didn't. But his job was very important. Did he work for the Secret Service after the war? No, he worked for a newspaper as a journalist. And then he became a writer. And what about his early life? Did Fleming and Bond go to the same school? <laughs> yes, they did, actually. <laughs> <laughs> they both went to Eton. And were both very good at sports. Mm -hmm. So Ian Fleming was James Bond? Uh, yes, in a way. <laughs> when did Ian Fleming write the first Bond book? He wrote Casino Royale, the first Bond book, in 1952. 
Did he make a lot of money? No, he didn't. He died in 1964, only two years after the first Bond film. Ah. Well, thank you for coming to talk to us, Will. Uh, that was Will Forbes, whose new book, The Man Behind Bond, is now on sale. Okay. So now we check the answers. So what are the four things in common for uh, four? Uh, okay. The job is the same. What else? The same school. The same school, same job, same school. What about, uh, did both of them work as writers, Kilani? Well, uh, only, well, uh, only the Ian, well, as Zos. What do you think? Both. Both? Do you think both? Yes. No, actually, only Ian Fleming. Okay, so okay. no problem. So we can, uh, of course, we can start here again, and we can check, start from the script next time. We can do the script next time. So we can find the four things. B. The here four things. We found, I think, two or maybe three things, but we didn't find all four things. And we will also learn how to make yes, no questions using did. Okay. So we'll finish this hopefully uh, next lesson. All right. So um, have a good day or good night and I'll see you next time. Okay. okay thank you. Doc. You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh I'll see you soon. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye.